is color camera, so I choose indoor mode and then I just start. Uh, I need to calibrate it. It's the gyro that needs to be calibrated. And then basically I just start going around and I can move wow. freely in any direction. And it automatically takes pictures. And it will be green to indicate when it's a good time, when, when it will want to take a picture. Mm. And uh, it, it wants to take a picture when it has a good overlap to, to, to the other pictures. Okay. So I can just go around here and start building up the scene here. Like this, and then I'm satisfied. And now it starts to stitch together the finalized uh, yes, sure. uh, panorama here. And so this is the way it works. And then, then I can uh, browse around. And of course here it, there will be some parallax problems because mm. it's not perfect environment. Um, so we really try to create the completely free in the viewer here. So I can show, show you a, a preload here. So I took a picture yesterday of uh, up in the fountain here in Barcelona, yeah. um, just to show you if you take a full spherical panorama, the experience you're gonna get. <laughs> Let's see if. I... So this one I took, ah. and here you see you have a full, free experience. Yes. And then I can. How go... many pictures is that? Do you think? Uh, it, it's quite many 50? actually. <laughs> uh, it depends ah. a bit, uh, but mm -hmm. but I, I haven't really counted. Ah. And I mean, you're totally free to stop anytime. So you, you, I mean, it's up to you mm -hmm. if you want to build a full spherical or not. But this isn't a JPEG file. It's actually ah. saved as a JPEG, yeah. Ah, ah. So you can share it anyway. And then we have some preloads. So I mean, it's quite popular to have like Planet View, yeah. for yeah. example. Yeah. So you can. I don't know if you heard yeah, about yeah. little planets. Yeah. But that's one popular way, and then you can, uh, then you can make it like fisheye, and you can increase mm -hmm. and decrease it like this. And you have total freedom to play around with the projection and 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 the zoom level mm -hmm. of the image. So, so there are no limitations there. So, uh, so we we try. We think we are quite new in this yeah. totally free way to experience the image afterwards. I tried the several uh, stitching applications yeah. on the PC. Yeah. And and for example, it takes can take a long time yeah. to, to, to uh, match the images. Yeah. yeah, and this was quite fast. Yeah, and this is still a prototype, so we will yeah. optimize this even more in, in the finalized product. Mm -hmm. um, and also, we, we, we think it's nice that you, you give the possibility to, if you find a nice angle here, you can just uh, take a snapshot of that and save, yeah. and then yeah. you get it in high resolution, and then you can share it.